La 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 la. This is a sewing tutorial for a DIY bomber waterfall jacket and for this project I'm going to be using these fabrics. I got this orange material that I used for my birthday dress back in August. I'm sure you guys can remember because the feedback I got was quite positive and I really love the color combination of this fabric. I also got a black jersey which I'll be using for the cuff of the jacket and I got a similar fabric in fact the same fabric but just a different color combination so this one has blue and orange and the other one has orange and pinks for the pattern the pattern is quite easy the only difference is the front panel has an extension which is folded back to create the waterfall lapel that this jacket has and what you essentially just do here is just extend the center front of the jacket out by however much you want the lapel to fold back in and sort of diagonally trace that back to the hem of the center front so once you cut it on the other side you have two pieces for the center front so this is fairly what the pattern for the front looks like for the back i'm going to cut it on the fold and just have a simple one piece back that would go with the front i am going to cut four pieces for the front and one for the back I'm going to be using the sleeve pattern because I wanted the sleeve to have a little bit of bulk when it to be gathered back into the cuff. I also cut myself facing that will go around the back of the jacket because when there's a facing at the back it connects to the facing of the front and it just makes sewing a whole lot easier. So I cut myself all the pieces I need and because I'm using two different fabrics I cut all of the facings in orange and all of the outer panels in blue. So for the front I have four pieces, two in orange and two in blue because I wanted the inside to have a different color from the outside. For the back I just have one piece which is in the blue and because the fabric is quite eccentric I just wanted to keep the silhouette fairly simple. I also cut myself facing which will be attached to the neck of the orange one in front and I cut myself two sleeves as you can see here and I cut also two squares. They're not really squares, but they're more like squares, which have dimensions 20 centimeters by 12, which I'm going to be using to make the cuff of this jacket. It is time to sew. So the first step that we would be doing is to join the shoulder seams of the front pieces to the back. So what I've done here is I've pinned the shoulder pieces of the front to the back. And what you can see now is the wrong side because once I sew those shoulders together and turn it around, you're going to see the right side of the material. So I'm just sewing this using the normal stitch on my domestic machine and this is what it looks like at this point. So I'm basically going to repeat the same process for the facing so that I have one piece that I would attach later on. So I've pinned together the shoulder seams of the back facing to the two front facings. So because they're all in one material, it's, it's easier to understand what goes with what but still my notches are my friends. So once that is nicely pinned and I know what I'm doing, I am going to take this on to my machine to stitch the shoulder seams and move on with the rest of the process. As you can see, the front facings is the same shape with the actual piece of the jacket. So once that is stitched together, it would be easy to sort of connect all the pieces. So at this point, I've stitched the shoulder seams of the back facing to the front facing. And the next thing I'm going to do is to take that outer blue shell and we're going to join the facing to the blue shell along the back neckline all the way to the front and down the center front. So once you just turn this inside out, there is a nice finished seam. So I'm just quickly going to pin this all the way across and this is what it looks like. So because the facing of the front is the same shape and size as the actual front pieces, it is actually quite simple and straightforward and not that complicated. 
but the back is just a simple round facing because you won't really see the back of the jacket but the front is what you would see when you open up the lapel so i've pinned everything nice and neat across and i'm going to sew with one continuous stitch from one side of the center front around the back neck turning the needle as i go along because i want to use one continuous stitch and all the way to the other end of the front facing so i know i don't have to like stitch this several times so once i do that i'm going to go in and ease off some of those seams and what i mean by this is just to create little snips so when you turn this inside out those curved bits are sort of easier to relax when it's time to press it so i'm just cutting um little snips into the back seam and into the front seam as well so i've turned this inside out and this is what it looks like right now it's not that pretty but once you give it a nice press it looks somewhat like this so the magic here is the fact that when you open the front it's blue and when you open the inside it's orange and because we stitched this sort of bagging it out you don't see any rough edges you just see a nice finished seam around the lapel of the jacket so once that is all done it is time to move on to the next step of the process and that is to consider the side seams so because the front sort of like the front lapel is kind of done and once you hold the sides together you get the blue fabric and the orange fabric it would be easier to connect all of them and decide at once so that means we just pin up the two front pieces to the back and then with one stitch connect everything down as you can see here so I've pinned it down and what you can see is the wrong side and I'm just going to stitch across from the armhole down to the hem on both sides of the jacket. So using a normal straight stitch on my domestic machine, I'm just going to stitch this on a one centimeter seam allowance and after stitching, I'm going to take it to my overlocker and overlock those seams it is woven fabric we have to overlock if you don't just want this thing to free <laughs> so once i'm done overlocking the seams i'm going to overlock the hem as well so i don't have to worry about how to finish it so this is what it looks like right now the side seams are done the hem is overlocked and the next step naturally would be to work on the sleeves so because you've overlocked the hem and you've overlocked the inside it looks really decent even when you open the the jacket from the front so moving on to the sleeve of this jacket i have pinned together the side seams and i'm going to be stitching it together on a one centimeter seam allowance before fixing it into the jacket so i'm just going to quickly sew both sleeves separately joining their sides together and then overlocking them because ain't nobody got time for overlocking after you've made the jacket so the next thing to do is to work on the cuff so for the cuff you're going to fold this fabric like this and then join it together on this side so what you have when you join it together is like a tube that when you fold it inside out no outside in i think that's how it is outside in and you have the neat edge you create a cuff that you're going to attach to the hem of the sleeve so because the hem of the sleeve is wide we would have to gather this in and because jersey is very stretchy you can stretch the jersey material to accommodate all of the hem but if it doesn't fit you can as well create small pleats just to take in any excess bits so i'm going to sew this all the way around on my domestic machine and the trick here is as you are sewing you are stretching that jersey else it might not all fit in there so just slowly take your time and there is no rush at this point because jersey is one of those fabrics that has a lot of room and give as long as you pull it as you sew along so i'm just nicely and slowly sewing this on the one centimeter seam allowance using a normal stitch and this is what it looks like at this point so i've stitched both cuffs and i've overlocked the seams as well so it looks really nice and neat the next thing is to fix the sleeve into the armhole of the jacket i've matched up the front and back pieces and the top and bottom seams so i'm just going to sew this on a one centimeter seam allowance 
sleeves are a bit tricky to fit in i'll try and leave a link to how to fit in a sleeve in our armhole down below so you can check that out if you want and the next thing i'm doing here is just finishing up the hem i just folded it in by three centimeters and sewed it down using a normal stitch so this is the finished jacket i gave it a nice press just to relax all of the seams around the hem around the sleeve around the armhole so it looks nice and good so the main beauty about this jacket is the fact that it has this sporty feel which the cuff and the sleeve gave to it but it also has this elegant balance which the waterfall jacket has I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. It was a fun learning experience. I think one thing I really appreciate about doing DIY videos on YouTube is the fact that I get to improve on what I already know. And because there are people going to see what I make, I make sure I do it the right way. And even when I don't get it right, I try to be honest and straightforward about it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. I'd love to know your thoughts down below. If you have any suggestions, ideas or questions, please ask them in the comment section and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. So until my next video, have a good morning, afternoon and evening wherever you are. Bye!